Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all. You know, I hope you're all doing great. And today we will be looking at a very interesting, um, very interesting, uh, well, tool in Blender called Knife Project. So a lot of you have asked me questions about Knife Project and even have like put um, put a lot of uh, help asked for a lot of help in the develop and help section of my Discord, which you should join. It's in the description. And Today, I think I should make a whole video on it so you guys are not confused. So, before we actually go into Blender here, what I want to talk about is cookies. And, I mean, every, everyone loves, loves cookies, regardless if you, depending on your taste, chocolate cookies, pineapple cookies, I don't know if they exist. They shouldn't, it sounds disgusting. Yeah, anyway, so, to, let's just imagine that you're making a cookie and you have to give it a specific shape. So, you can see all these shapes, like a star or a snowflake. And don't know what that is. I think that's a star as well. Anyways, so and and you just want to you know get these shapes, put them in the oven. So what what you actually usually do is you take the cookie cutter, put pressure on the cookie, and there you go, you get your shape. And it's it's surprisingly very similar in Blender as well, except you don't actually apply any force and you don't really put it into the oven because. I don't think you can put a cube in an oven. We can try it, but I, I, I think my house might explode. Anyways, so <laughs> let's just imagine that this cookie dough over here, this beautiful, I mean, cookie dough, is the mesh, is the, like, this could be a cube, or this could be simply a, let me show it you, a plane. So it could be this, this really nice plane. And... This, um, the cookie cutter, is actually a cube which we have molded in a specific shape to, um, to put, to like, cut the cookie in, sh in like, in the shape you like, I guess. So, this is actually pretty much what Knife Project is. It's about using cookie cutters and cookie dough. Except they're not really called cookie cutters and cookie doughs. So... Let's take this example with our a, a beautiful cube. So right now I'm going to be adding a cube here, which is here. We'll be scaling this cube up. So oh, scale it up. So it's a big giant cube. And now let's imagine that I want to put a circle in here. I want to um, make a circle it, well, on this specific face. So usually, if if this was if I was making um, if I was making cookies, I would take a circle cookie cutter and put pressure on this, but since we're 3D modeling, there are no really, there's not really any cookie cutters that you can use. So we will be using a shape. We will be using the circle shape in Blender. So the, to add a shape, you simply do Shift A, Mesh, and Circle. And then you can click on the circle here and then press G to grab it and bring it here. Now, once it's here, we want to make sure that our circle is str is straight on the cube, so we will have to rotate it on a specific axis, and I think that axis is there. We go. It's the y axis. So we rotate it just about ninety degrees, like that, and there we go. We have a circle. And now to just just imagining that this the cube is a cookie and this is a cookie cutter, we can go click on the x here. Press G to position the uh, circle here. Click S to scale this beautiful cookie cutter up. Let's position it well. And now, hold down Shift and select the cube. So make sure you selected the cube and the cookie. Oh, it's not quite the cookie. <laughs> the circle and the cube. And then again, click on X here. Click on Tab and click. Make sure everything's selected. And now. It, this is the most easiest bit. You simply go to Mesh. Oh, you go to Mesh and you click Knife Project. There you go. You have, you've got a shape in here. You've got the beautiful circle shape. And to basically separate this, click on the faces here. Select this big face. Right click. Separate and by selection. And there we go. We have made a beautiful circle in a cookie dough. Um, and yeah, that that's that's basically what um, that's basically what the concept of Knife Project is. But now let's get let's let's get back to a few other issues. So 
A lot of you guys have actually um, asked me this question that sometimes when you're knife projecting, it just doesn't go on. So, for instance, we've got both of our circle and the cube. And then we hit mesh and knife project. And then what happened is just why didn't the whole circle here? Why did the circle not project over here? Why is it only half of the circle here? Now, th this is a pretty annoying thing. And this needs a bit of explanation. So the way you want to project your uh, your cookie cutter is by making sure it's straight onto the cube so it will only make that specific shape on the uh, the viewpoint so whatever it sees that's where it's going to make the shape so for instance if i move it around a bit here it's only going to make the shape in this area let me show you another quick example so if I want to sh make a shape in only this specific area, again, click A, Mesh, and Knife Project. And you can see how it makes the shape only in this area. So that's basically <laughs> what Knife Project is. Now, let's get back to the, f uh, to the thing, to the thing, yeah, the thing that we're going to be using for the video coming in, in this week, uh, coming out this week. So we would have to make a door for our um, plane. So the way that's going to work, it's very simple again, just like Knife Project. You click Shift A, you click Cube, you get the cube here, you get it outside, and then you have to delete the front faces of the cubes because, again, if you notice, the cookie cutter does not have any front faces, it only has the edges. So there are no faces here, only the edges. So the same applies to our cube. You click on Faces. Take the front face, X, and delete faces. And here we have our cube with no faces and only, well, it has faces on the top, but no front faces. Then again, we click on the X here, go into edit mode. And you might say, why can I not see it on these specific axes? That's because there's no actual face for the back, so you can't see it. The only way you can actually see it is by selecting the mesh, clicking X, clicking Tab, clicking A, and then you can grab it around, kind of like that. And then what I want to do is I want to bevel this because my doors are usually very smooth. So I will click on the vertices, go to X again, click on the X-ray button, and then I will be selecting the two, these two meshes, going here clicking this option, beveling this just down like that so my door is smooth. Click here, increase the segments, and then do the same for the bottom two. Uh, one, two, there we go. Now what we can do is select the two meshes here, click Tab, click A, and make sure we're going into the x-axis because we want this specific shape only on the we want the specific shape to reflect only at this point. So just click Mesh, Knife Project, and voila, we have our beautiful, beautiful um, tiny door. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all you need to know at this point. So whenever you want to make like a shape on a mesh, you can use Knife Project because it's I find it very easy and very efficient. You can see how the clear cut is, there's no issues. You've separated it, it looks beautiful. So I guess that's <laughs> how you can use cookies and cookie cutters to explain knife product in Blender. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, I'm gonna stop this.